I'm sorry, Dime, but this town just ain't big enough for the two of us. What are you going on about? There is no town. Well, that, that's kind of what I mean, actually, that this town literally isn't big enough for the two of us. Where are you going with this? I think I might be able to help you, gentlemen. Wow! That's, uh, that's a lot better. It is, isn't it? You really are, uh, you know, mag magic hands. I like it. Can you do it again? No. Ah, okay. Well, it's cool. I like it. My uh, Indians can, uh, they can hide and stuff now. Yeah, well, they're wooden buildings, metal tanks. Still gonna win, aren't they? What? Now you're just gonna die inside a decorative building. Yeah, well, yeah, I suppose. Well, this town is big enough for the two of us. I suppose so. <laughs> Howdy, all gamers, and welcome to TT Combat's third Kickstarter. Yeah, the first two were pretty amazing. We had Get It Painted and Snappy Stencils. Uh, a lot of work, but they were well definitely yeah. considered to be successes. So yeah, pretty good. Um, so hopefully this one should be as well. Yeah, this one is TT Combat's Wild West Scenics, uh, which is exactly what it says in the tin. Really, um, it's Wild West buildings that you can use within your Wild West games, or you don't have to use them within game. No. I guess you could just create a little, if little you like scene. little town. Might, might be a nice little town. Little towns, town. yeah, It'd be cool. Um, so what we have forty buildings, something around forty buildings, yeah, of which we've designed already uh, twenty. 20 something. It's 20, 20, yeah, it's 20, 20 plus. 20 plus designs already built um, for you, like, you know, for you guys to actually see. Um, and you're going to work tirelessly to get the rest of them done. Yeah. Right. Now, you'll notice on the Kickstarter page that it's actually um, set out in the pledge levels as sheets. So basically, yeah. um, varying, varying buildings, depending on the size, take up a certain amount of sheets to, to, to build. Um, so going from the smallest, like the gallows, what's that, one sheet, one, sheet. one, one sheet. sheet, this one here is eight sheets, so obviously, um, it's one of the top ones, it's one of the top yeah. ones, um, basically what's going to happen is you pledge at a sheet level, so for example, if you go for, uh, I don't know, 50 sheets, you then spend those 50 sheets on the buildings that you want, so you can have eight, um, and then you buy like a two sheet, that's 10 sheets spent, um, etc, etc, and that way, you're not being forced to have varying sets that you may or may not want you, you know if we put it into sets and had a church and you had um the undertakers you might not want the undertaker so so this allows you to pick whatever buildings you want yeah. out of the entire range and it's a big range it is a big range it's really good it's, so you can have your table looking how you want your table to look like maybe you want an industrial scene so you'll have the mindset as well as the windmills and the water towers maybe you don't want that maybe you do want just the church and a few buildings around the church it's, it's entirely up to you and that's the way we've got it laid out um in terms of getting this done we're looking at two or three months after the after the kickstarter is finished we're going to have them cut and ready to ready to ship we have like we said we have done two kickstarters already so we do have experience in handling um shipping packing uh getting orders processed and making sure that you guys are happy with what you're receiving um one of the best selling points for our buildings is they're really, really easy to build. Um, to demonstrate this, we're going to cut now to a quick episode of James' workshop. Ah, hey there, Wargamers. James here with another episode of James' workshop. I have today um, the saloon from TT Combat's Wild West Scenics. So, I'm going to get this building now and I'm going to show you how easy it can be.
Well, as you see, that was uh, that was quite quick and uh, that was fairly easy actually. <laughs> it was very easy. Uh, for difficulty wise, I'll give this, uh, you know, probably like the 10 being the easiest. <laughs> it's like, that was ridiculously easy. I would obviously suggest using some uh, PVA glue. Uh, but apart from that, the things I didn't put in um, were the bar, you get a table and a barrel, a little beer barrel here, that's pretty, pretty cool, and some bottles. Just gives the uh, whole model a bit more uh, characteristic when you take the uh, roof off and use it in games, because it's like bar brawls, which would be really cool. But anyway, yeah, I highly recommend getting this if you are uh, mainly for, I reckon Malifaux would be a really good game for this. Uh, but yeah, highly recommend it. I will get some myself and... Uh, yeah, tune in next time for another episode of uh, James Workshop. Well, there you go, guys. Uh, needless to say, if James can do it, then anyone can, anyone yeah. can do it. Um, we do recommend, obviously in that video, James didn't really use any PVA glue. Um, we do recommend that you do, because while they fit together, if you don't want the walls falling down, it's good to have them glued yeah. into place. Just a bit of PVA glue, just dabbed on it, and it will hold itself secure. Yeah. Um, we're really excited about this one. It's, we, well, we've been excited about yes, the other two. Yeah, well. excited. Um, so we really hope that this one does as well as the other ones. If this has enticed you, then you know, please pledge. Uh, it's really appreciated, um, and you'll have some decent scenery. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and thanks for potentially pledging.